Hello, my name's Dr. Michael Smith. I'm a GP from North London, and today I'm going to talk to you about a very common medical condition. But please remember, this is no substitute from seeing your own doctor. Sleep is divided into three main parts. There's the quiet sleep, there's the rapid eye movement sleep, and then there are some short periods where you wake for one or two minutes in the middle of the night. People require different amounts of sleep. There are some people who can survive on three or four hours sleep, and there are some people who will be miserable if they don't get their eight hours. The majority of getting a good night's sleep depends on something that we call sleep hygiene. Now, sleep hygiene is very easy. It involves avoiding caffeine for three or four hours before bedtime, avoiding alcohol for three or four hours before bedtime, avoiding smoking for the hour before bedtime. It also involves making your bedroom a place of sanctuary, a place where sleep is the main objective, and people find it helpful to remove stimulating objects such as the television or the radio from their bedroom, and involving a bit of a ritual before they go to bed, doing things such as turning off the lights, turning off appliances, having a warm drink without caffeine, and involving brushing your teeth and even putting on your bedclothes can be part of that ritual and it's very important that that ritual is done every night so that your body knows that it's getting used to going to bed. It's important to go to bed when you feel tired, not when you're feeling wide awake after some stimulating activity. If these measures fail, it's important to start the ritual again. If you're not going to sleep after 30 minutes, get up, go back into the main house, switch on all the lights, switch on the appliances, and start the ritual from scratch. It's important that you train your body to get used to going to sleep. Different people report success with herbal remedies such as nitol and other over-the-counter things. Now there's no real evidence that these things work, but if they work for you, then great, take them, you'll get a good night's sleep. Insomnia is a very common problem and affects most of the population at some point in their life. Thankfully, most of it is short term, but if it is a long term problem with you, please go and see your doctor because there's lots of things that we can do for you. So, in summary, there is no correct amount of sleep that you need. You just need what's right for you. Two, make sure that you have good sleep hygiene. Three, take some over-the-counter remedies if they help, but you don't need them. And four, go and see your doctor if it becomes a big problem for you. And that's my advice on how to fall asleep fast.